you wouldn't download a quest free, right? But you can literally download a full body trackers for VR. And since I got a new K1 printer from Creality, I think making these trackers will be super easy. You may already seen me using the printer to fix all kind of issues I had with the Quest 3. And since it has been over two years, but official slime trackers are still not shipping, I think I can make them not only faster, but better with new components, new sensors, smaller boards, that I can order from a factory. And not even a week later, I got a package from China with my new boards and sensors. They all have been factory assembled and tested. So all I need now is to download cases for those trackers, drop them in Creality Print software, and I'm going to use all the default settings. The default nozzle I will print using PEG plastic and I will use the default normal profile. Maybe I will change infill to lightning just for fun. And all rest settings I will leave default whatever the software recommends. This is what I love about this software. It just works. I don't even need to bother and change anything. I can click slice. Software suggests to add supports, I guess to fill these buttonholes, but I know the part is gonna print just fine without any supports, and everything else seems good. It shows 16 minute print estimate, so I can click send the part to the printer, select my new K1 printer. I could check to do auto calibration, but I will not even bother, and I will simply click print. I can already hear the printer has started because I have my balcony door open. Yes, my printer sits in a balcony and runs off a solar setup. And I do this because I do not want to smell the plastic or hear any printing noises while the printer is working. And everything is automatic. I did not have to do a single thing. K1 just started the print with a perfect first layer and everything. It runs not only fast, but very efficient too. It consumes less power even than my old printer. And that includes even a filament drying box running behind it, which is plugged with that white USB cable. You can see sometimes the power drop peaks to over 500 watts for a few seconds. I guess this is when K1 is heating its bed. So my new Blue Yeti AC60 power station is a perfect match for this printer with a continuous 600 watts of output. And you can see at the same time the power station is charging from 60 to 90 watts from two solar panels I have on a window. I can close the balcony door and there are no sounds. This is a pretty genius setup and I can still see all my print progress on my computer. Since the printer is connected to Wi-Fi, you can see it has no issues printing the part without the supports, as I said. And 16 minutes later, it's about to finish exactly as estimated. Now never touch the super hot bed right after printing is the advice I never follow. And the part looks perfect straight out of a printer. Okay, there is a tiny imperfection because I did not put any supports, but this does not even matter. Let's see how the parts fit. Oh my, this is so satisfying, everything fits so perfect, with zero effort. So let me show you some cases printed on my old FL Sun printer. 
it has a little bit of here and it needs some cleaning and to clean every hole and every corner it might take anywhere from two to five minutes even having all proper tools and the bar still does not fit so I need even more cleaning now imagine doing not one not ten but 20 and more cases like that yeah this is the beauty of the k1 i can click clone and add eight more pieces and we all gonna print perfect just like the first part printer shows me two and a half hours estimate so again i will just select my printer and click print and everything starts automatic again and this is really a trust thing only when you have a perfectly working printer you can trust it to print a full bed of parts every single time and in using k1 for two weeks i haven't had a single print failed yet again it prints with no supports and have no issues and again everything is done on the default settings and everything automatic Two and a half hours later, it is finished exactly as estimated. Now I have total 10 new cases and they all fit perfectly straight out of the printer. So I can put 10 more batteries, print 10 more covers and here I just made 10 new full body trackers. And look, after printing for half a day, I still have 9% of power left. And I believe I did start with only 54% this morning. So I could easily print for a whole day with my new setup. I will be using nylon velcro strap for my trackers. So I can adjust the size. And they fit comfy because they stretch. I'm using an 8 tracker setup, one tracker for chest, one for hip and six for legs. Seems like trackers are working pretty well. And the best part, I got these trackers made in less than two weeks. Not a whole two years. So yeah, I'm super happy with my new printer. Here is an advertised 13 minutes benching. <laughs> Here is the real print speed and fast settings. But I'm impressed more not even by speed, but the print quality. Just look how smooth this part is, even printed at these crazy speeds. And how easy it is to use this printer. Just download a model, drop it on a software, and everything else is automatic. There are no worries that I will mess the print temperatures or first layer height, or bed level, or something. Because everything is automatic. And I'm not even being bothered by the sounds of smells of the printer running the K1 off the power station in my balcony. So subscribe if you want to see a full video how I use the new power station, not only for printing. And for Slime VR, this is an old DIY tracker. And here are DIY trackers next to officials. They are bulky, they are way more complicated, and I would say outdated. This is why they take so long to make. And the Chinese factory can make and test hundreds of trackers 
in just a couple of days. My new K1 printer can print maybe 20 to 30 cases per day. And I have already made and sold a few Slime VR sets. So leave a comment below if you would like to get a Slime set. I might make and ship more sets. And it takes only two weeks, not a whole two years to make. And prices are similar to the official ones, starting from 250 euros per set. I will put all updated info in the description when I will make more sets for sale.